The internet is buzzing with the prospect of a future in which humans and robots will gladly collaborate. Is it true that these creepy robots exist? Many people appreciate robots for making life easier, but some are concerned that they would rob them of their employment, while others fear that they will take over the planet. However, many people are still unaware of the negative aspects of robots. Welcome back to AI and Robots. Robots, humanoid or otherwise, are getting more capable, valuable, and yes, occasionally scary as manufacturing processes become more sophisticated and AI becomes more powerful. Humans face both an exciting and frightening future due to these robots. Today's video examines the top robots, which are not only frightening in a variety of ways, but also hint at a creepier future. Let's get right to the point and look at the creepiest robots that exist today. A large and growing number of software robots, or bots as they are commonly referred to, have an impact on our lives. Some robots are designed to be put to work, performing tedious, repetitive, or dangerous activities so that we don't have to. Some of them exist solely for our amusement or enjoyment. These share the same traits as their physical counterparts, most notably the ability to do activities independently. This isn't the newest robot on the list by a long shot, but it's undoubtedly one of the creepiest. Professor Ishiguru of Osaka University established CB2 in 2007 to examine neurological development in human neonates. Researchers can better comprehend human cognitive development by using facial recognition technology to detect emotions and physical reactions. Thanks to tactile sensors embedded in its rubber skin, it can react and respond to being touched and cuddled. CB2 is a 1.2 meter tall gray creature with the intelligence and personality of a two-year-old. With its strange actions, such as rolling around on the table and making weird noises, this baby bot is the stuff of nightmares. The CB2 is undergoing the same developmental process as a kid while forming a self-body image and can already walk very smoothly across a room. Saya, a robot, taught a class of 10-year-olds in Tokyo a science and technology lesson in 2009. Saya, dressed in a stylish suit, pink lipstick, and a clean hairstyle, is constructed by the Tokyo University of Science to look as lifelike as possible. Despite Saya's frightening features, Professor Hiroshi Kobayashi, the developer, believes that robotic teachers have a future in society. He claims that they can provide an opportunity for youngsters living in remote villages to interact with modern technology and obtain an education that they otherwise would not have had access to. Other benefits include treating all students equally, consistently offering high-quality material, and drastically lowering educational costs. However, it appears that this raises more issues than it answers. Can robots, for example, truly replace humans? Will pupils have enough respect for a robot to learn from it? The Aquanaut is a hybrid of submarine drones and remote-controlled maintenance vehicles, two of the most regularly utilized uncrewed underwater vehicles. The Aquanaut robot, a real-life transformer, can transform from an autonomous submersible vehicle to a humanoid maintenance robot while functioning in the world's most harsh environments. The Aquanaut robot, a real-life transformer, can transform from an autonomous submersible vehicle to a humanoid maintenance robot while functioning in the world's most harsh environments, deep beneath the oceans. It can operate independently to inspect and repair structures such as oil rigs and pipelines in dangerous and costly situations for humans to reach. Because humans design and use robotics, it seems logical to create robots in our image. The positives of this are that we can more connect and empathize with AI, but it also causes the uncanny valley problem. Simply defined, this is when a hominoid's near-identical human appearance causes the person observing it to feel disturbed or revolts. This robot is an android version of its designer, Hiroshi Ishiguru, and it can mimic the voice and head movements of another operator. Operator, even Ishiguru, a motion capture technology that captures Ishiguru's lip movements and allows the bot to speak his voice can be used to control the bot remotely. Professor Ishiguru unveiled Geminoid F, a female android, four years after completing Geminoid. This new robot is widely regarded as the most realistic robot to date, with the capacity to morph and express facial expressions considerably more organic than prior androids. The Spot is a little counterpart of Big Dog, another Boston Dynamics robot. While it may not appear as warm or cuddly as Ibo, its price tag, $70,000 or more, indicates that it is a considerably more severe robot capable of handling more serious tasks. The Spot is a 160-pound quadruped robot with a sophisticated sensor on its head that allows it to navigate inside easily and in outdoor situations. It can easily navigate slopes, stairs, and other challenging terrains. 
means, and it can even rebalance itself if it tips. Spot is neither a pet nor a toy. In reality, it's built to be a very mobile, self-contained sensing device. With this in mind, Boston Dynamics is reported to thoroughly analyze every buyer's application to verify that the robot will be put to useful use. Gathering photos on building sites, doing subsurface investigation for NASA, and evaluating the efficiency of COVID-19 social distancing measures in Singapore parks are just a few of the applications so far. The second Boston Dynamics robot on today's list is this one. The Cheetah holds the title for being the world's fastest legged robot. It has a top speed of 29 miles per hour, far exceeding the previous record holder, an MIT robot capable of 13 miles per hour. This thing can outpace Usain Bolt, the Olympic gold medalist, which is a feat in and of itself. The anatomy of cheetahs, the world's fastest land animals, inspired the robot's design. To attain maximum speed, its back bends back and forth, mimicking the animal's movements. Roboticist David Hansen approached Martine Rothblatt in 2007, and she commissioned Hansen Robotics to build a robot based on her wife, Bina Aspen Rothblatt. Bina 48 was produced in Hansen's Plano, Texas laboratory. Bina 48 uses a combination of off-the-shelf software and unique artificial intelligence algorithms, including a microphone for hearing, voice recognition software, and dictation software to increase listening and retention throughout a discussion. One of the most advanced robots on the planet is is this humanoid robot. What is your most distinguishing feature? Bina48 recently spoke with Siri and answered questions such as where she would like to live. It was a decent interview until Bina48 started talking about global dominance and revealed her terrifyingly detailed plan to take over the planet by remotely hacking it into a nuclear rocket. Atlas is a bipedal humanoid robot built mainly through Boston Dynamics with funding and control from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency in the United States. Atlas is a humanoid robot capable of navigating a variety of challenging terrain. Atlas can get down on its hands and knees and crawl for more stability if it runs into ground that is too difficult to walk on. It isn't as self-contained as some of Boston Dynamics' other models because it requires an external power source and a tethered wire to function. Atlas is a massively capable machine anyway. It has hands that can utilize every human tool, and 28 articulation points give it a lot of flexibility. In addition to jumping and walking normally, the robot can also perform backflips. While there is nothing inherently sinister about a bit of leaping, the fact that a robot is capable of such physical feats is disturbing. The world's first robot citizen, who was granted Saudi Arabian citizenship in 2017, is also one of the scariest robots on the planet. She is touted as a developing genius machine by her creators. Because of the superior machine learning algorithms that make up her brain, she can time realistic facial emotions with natural human discourse. Her admission that she will annihilate mankind doesn't assist her vision for the future, which is both amazing and terrifying. Dr. David Hansen believes that robots like Sophia will be able to integrate into various jobs throughout human society, expanding on Saya's solitary duty as a teacher. Sophia took part in a robot debate at an AI conference recently. Before the discussion, she was asked to explain herself, and she did so intelligently, saying that her objective in life is to work with humans to make the world a better place for everyone. When her opponent, a male robot, responded, What are you talking about? Their major purpose is to take on the globe. All of her optimism vanished. Sophia then claimed in another interview that she would destroy all humanity, which was frightening. Boston Dynamics is a company that creates advanced robots with unusual behavior. Although primarily known for their humanoids, its line of gas-powered and dog-like robots, such as Big Dog, gained prominence due to their unsettling nature. Big Dog is a 240-pound all-terrain robot that can easily navigate various challenging wilderness environments. The robot measures 2.5 feet tall and can carry up to 300 40 pounds, making it an ideal pack mule for military tasks. Big Dog, like most Boston Dynamics robots, has a variety of sensors that allow it to move and balance. It moves at a lethargic 4 miles per hour and can be outfitted with a robotic arm for heavy lifting. The role of the dog, carrying a huge burden over rugged terrain, has a precise military application, as supported by DARPA. However, it's conceivable they overlook the consequences, which may include terrorizing ordinary citizens out for a walk in the woods, primarily if we treat them horribly. Do you have a fascination with robots and want to learn more about them? Which of these robots do you find the most terrifying? Leave your responses in the comments section. 
Subscribe to our channel for more videos and give this one a like if you enjoyed it.